Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect. We had a couple of things uh, on our to-do list today. Do we still have... Hmm, just looking at our electrical cables. And I think it would be in our best interest to install a whole bunch before we really get started here. So, a uh, couple of things. One is we should build our medical ward, finally. We can also research something new. Uh, I really like researching education, but we're going to start with like patrols, which allows us to finish our grant for uh, assigning three guards to patrol route. But anyway, um, we want our medical ward to get going. We have prison closed, good. And we want to uh, make another cell block. And the way that we're going to make this cell block is we're going to try to use the clone tool, which we just got. So basically with the clone tool, you right click and that allows you to capture like a certain size and then you can just paste it down elsewhere. I don't, yeah, we can't capture up to the size that maybe I would want to, uh, but we can capture like the entire individual cell. But we actually don't need to because we don't need the, uh, we don't need the back wall. No, we don't need that wall. We just need this. And then we'll place this. Yeah, this even has the wall, so that'll be like cell here, here. Why is this a slightly offset? Because we don't need the outer wall either. Okay, erase everything. Erase it all. Oh Jesus, what have I done? Okay, cancel the cancel the orders. Cancel the rooms. Still keep the electrical cables going. This is a minor mistake, it's okay. The objects aren't still being placed, right? No, okay, good. Um so okay, put the electrical cables back down. Like so. Why are they not being serviced by this thing? Maybe if we do that, they'll make it. But um Okay, let's let the electrical cables get installed. Then we're gonna use the clone tool. We don't need the outside wall, that was my mistake. Now the prisoners are going to be awake for this, so we we have to make sure we don't accidentally like breach the wall or anything like that, but that's okay. Alright, we want to capture- Hey! Don't, you can't have a knife! What are you thinking trying to take a knife from the kitchen? You can't do that, alright. We need not the outside wall, so we just need like this. The clone tool can be a little tricky sometimes. And then if we set it up like that, good, because the wall is included as part of like... You know, you don't need two walls because you're placing a wall every single time. Uh, every time you use the clone tool. There we go. So that should basically just install everything that we need to be installed there. With the exception of the pipes. We'll have to install the pipes ourselves, but that will install all the doors, all the walls, and uh, the toilet and the bed for each one of these cells, which is going to make it very, very easy for us to just iterate on our current kind of setup. So we can very easily make a cell block, and each one of those contains... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cells, which makes me a freaking idiot because... Prisoners usually come in blocks of eight, or they come in blocks of, like, twelve. Um, so, you know, it's not necessarily the right way to do this. Uh, by the way, I hate the fact that I have to manually open these doors for these guys, but that's the problem with using jail doors sometimes. In fact, you know, we're making enough money that I can afford to just put a guard here and then go to our deployment menu and make sure that he's, you know, permanently stationed up here to uh, help out and open these doors for the people in need. In the meantime, we should also set up our uh, our pipes. We probably should have done it earlier, but I have a feeling that our pipes should be able to carry uh, enough water to get everything taken care of here. And then we can accept prisoners uh, maybe as early as tomorrow. But we do need to keep in mind that at least uh, two of them... We just unlocked patrols. Uh, at least uh, two of them are already in our holding cell. Yeah, unfortunately, which is not going to make them super happy, and they're going to need to be put in regular cells pretty soon. I don't want to make these people mad, you know? These are these are people who are in jail for a reason. Most of them, I'm sure. Or I don't know how much faith I have in our, you know, justice system. I'm just saying, I'm trying to make some conversation here. I don't want to create, like, an ethical issue or anything like that. Um, or a moral issue, I guess. So our prisoner capacity is going up. We got our prisoners out of the holding cell. One strategy that I've seen a lot of people do is... Um, Try to make the holding cell as comfortable as possible, like put a bunch of beds in there and then just stack up prisoners in there. But I don't want to have that like cattle ranching kind of style. I want to I want a prison that's focused on rehabilitation, you know? Uh, not deployment, sorry, I meant to go to bureaucracy. Let's research, uh, let's research education. Speaking of rehabilitation, so we're kind of at that phase where I can um, start to think about uh, actually building some rehabilitation style stuff. And w what goes along with that? We can make like a classroom and start educating our, our prisoners. Please finish these pipes before more prisoners come. We only have like an extra... Seven? I can't see if that's 25 or 26 cells right now. We just need the bed to be installed first. 
26. So we can we can allow seven more prisoners. Let's give it a try. How many are coming? Nine. That's acceptable. We can keep two in our holding cell for now. Uh, let's finish. Well, let's see first. See how eating's going here. Prisoners all appear to be fee, uh, fed, so we don't need to worry about expanding our kitchen yet. New prisoners coming in two minutes. Let's read out some biographies. All right, so we got nine prisoners coming. Let's take a look here. Sentenced to 11 years for carjacking. Sentenced to one year for assault, assaulting an officer, and assaulting an officer. Sentenced to 10 years for carjacking. Five years for kidnapping. Should have stolen. At least you didn't steal a car. If you steal a person, you only get five years. A car gets you 10. Six years for aggravated vehicle theft. 23 years for arson. Jeez. He's been in jail since he was 18. Three years for violent disorder. No custom biographies here. Nine years for rioting and perjury. 13 years for false imprisonment. Wow. No offense, but you guys are boring. We got like no custom uh, no custom options here. Where's our guard that it's deployed here? You're supposed to have some more to do. All right, so we, we uh, can finish our grant basically and get $10,000 right away. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Nine prisoners have serious complaints. Danger level is medium and increasing. Why is this? Sorry, wrong button. Needs. Freedom. Any more freedom? Some of them need to pee. All right. Freedom. Maybe we should move free time to a little earlier in the day. Oh, it's going to go down now because they're happy. But, um... Hmm. We're going to have to find a way to mitigate that for the future. Maybe make a bigger common room or something like that. So we should turn off prisoner intake a little bit. Food's relatively satisfied right now. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna feel better. Um, let's turn off our prisoners for now. We already have 28, which is pretty good. We're only supposed to have 26. Don't tell the government. So we uh, we're making enough money that we can hire three more guards, and we want to get three patrols going here to finish our uh, uh, to finish our uh, plan. So I'm going to uh, do like a patrol route that goes like up through here and like that. Patrol those cells. And then we're going to want another one that goes like here and like down into the canteen and down into the kitchen just in case. And maybe we should have one that kind of goes around the yard just to make sure nothing fishy's going on there. And, I mean, our prison is relatively safe right now, so we're just going to uh, assign some guards to it. And the way we're going to do that is, um, usually you can just click here. Sometimes it creates an issue, though. I think because we have too many guards assigned to just, um, deployment. Sorry, we have too many guards assigned to, like, um, these are not patrols. Sorry, come back here. Good. We completed our grants because we set up our patrol route earlier. So now more people just got assigned to it. Yeah, we, we needed guards to be available, basically. They weren't already deployed on something else. Okay, with that taken care of, we can very quickly buy a medical ward. Uh, or build a medical ward. <coughs> and I think the way that I'm going to want to do this... First off, let's get two more cells built. So, you know, we have our clone tool ready. We just want to make sure that all of our prisoners, as is, are happy. So that'll be one here, one here... And we'll just get, uh, you know, utilities to pipe this in. And then we'll build, out of the remaining space, we'll make one classroom and one medical ward. And uh, the classroom grant is super lucrative if we can actually finish it. It takes a while, but uh, it, it does make us, you know, much more... Uh, it makes us a lot of money, basically. Plus, it, it'll give us a better grade as a prison because we're... Um, you know, not going to be having as high of a relapse rate because we're actually going to be rehabilitating people. All right, you know, I'll open this door for you. Should, I should just put staff doors on the cells, I guess. But anyway, there we go. We got 28 prisoners all taken care of here. Now, um, we should wall off the cell block first. So that'll just be like that. And then we want a probably a small-ish medical ward and the rest can be a classroom. But it's going to look pretty janky here. So I'm thinking like that could be our medical ward and the rest can be a classroom. But we probably don't need it to be that big. Maybe we could make like three rooms out of this. Could be like medical ward something classroom. But then it would be best if there was like a hallway between them. But that's such a small room. That is like a four by three. I don't even know what we would put in there. But our classroom certainly doesn't need to be this huge. So sure, this is fine. We can make like a 
Well, what, what other rooms could we maybe put in there? It's a little small for... Uh, maybe security? How big does security have to be? 4x4. Four four. Just a little bit not proper. Morgue? We just need a morgue slab and indoors. We could probably make do with that. Sure, why not? Let's give this a try. We got a couple more things that need to be built here. The walls are going to be coming in. Uh, what is it? Eating time. So we're just going to make sure all prisoners are still being fed. And if they're all being fed that are, aren't in solitary at least, then I think we've done our job fairly effectively. Alright, so these guys are probably going to get trapped in here. But this is going to be our medical ward. Medical ward is very, very easy to build. We just go with infirmary. And we need to have two or one medical bed. That's it. And medical bed sometimes can be a little tricky for me to find. There it is. Put that, we'll put two of them in there because we can afford to have two of them. And uh, we'll just have a regular door. I'm pretty sure prisoners aren't going to come in here and murder my doctors. After the door gets installed, uh, the uh, stuff will get dropped off. I'm not sure if medical beds actually need to be hooked up directly to the grid. I know there's a couple workmen trapped, but it's not like they're doing anything else right now anyway. Uh, and we'll hire two doctors. How much do they get paid every single day? 100 bucks. Not so bad. There we go. And that gives us a uh, $10,000 grant completion. And we have $85,000 in the bank right now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we're also going to install a door here and a door here. And then this is going to be our morgue. I've never actually built a morgue before, so I, let's just make sure a, like a morgue slab can actually fit. Yeah, morgue slab can fit. What else did it need? Well, we should make sure that we can actually drag it first. Morgue. Is it green? It's green. Indoors and morgue slab. That's it. Alright. It's not like we're going to have executions or anything happening here. Like, <clears throat> pardon me. Electrical uh, chairs don't even work in the game yet, as far as I know. Or there's no purpose for them. So, we'll just pop down, like, a couple of uh, morgue slabs here. At least we have something to do with this room. Even if we don't necessarily have a huge use for it just yet. And you notice, you know, there's no danger in my prison. One prisoners have serious complaints. The rest feel like they're... You know, pretty much getting it all taken care of right now. Could probably use a little bit of a bigger yard. The good news is we have like a really easy expansion opportunity for it there. Or we could put a bigger common room there and turn this into like a bigger shower is probably the next thing we would do is just extend the shower and then build like a yard, a bigger yard or a common room out here. Um, because the common room is like, you know, not really being used all that much as you can tell. Maybe because there's not, um, you know, much in it. So, we can designate one of our rooms as a classroom here, but there's also a, uh, there's a grant that we can use for that. I think it's education reform. So we get 15,000 immediately, and then build a classroom, build 20 desks, have 15 prisoners pass the foundation education course, have five prisoners pass the GE course. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this is classroom, it's yellow here. Okay, and we need uh, an office desk for a classroom that our teacher is gonna sit at, which is gonna be this. And the computer's facing that way, which is fine. We'll give them a chair, just to be nice. And then school desks, which are down here. We need 20. I, we might not be able to fit 20 in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, you're facing the wall, buddy. That's the best seat in the class. 20. There's 20 school desks once they actually uh, get built. I think we just finished something in bureaucracy. Uh, it might have been education. Let's get prison labor done next. And we can start actually having our inmates work for us. So that'll get installed there. Um, the electricity extends far enough, which is good. Prisoners seem relatively happy. Three say they're being very well treated. Well, not very well, but three say they're being well treated. That, that makes me feel good about my, uh, my job as an architect. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. So we'll, we'll go back to the speed three. I play the most, it's like, you know, EU4. I play it mostly on, on speed two or three and, and pause it. Make sure prisoners are being fed 100%. That is good news. We'll expand our kitchen and canteen as necessary. Uh, you can see, you know, things are getting a little tight in here. And it's only going to get worse, but uh, people are happy. Three of serious complaints, but what about sleep? Oh, yeah, well, I mean, you're going to go to sleep in an hour anyway. You're in prison, man. I mean, I know you want, You probably... Everybody needs sleep, but... Uh, you got plenty of time for it, is all I'm trying to say here. By the way, I'm an idiot, and I should have made sure that there was still a hallway that actually allows us to get... Um, you know, to another cell block up here. Instead, I'm going to have to build a hallway, like, all the way outside. Which is idiotic of me. 
and I feel like an idiot as a result. And that'll be our next, uh, like, a, our next big grant. But first, oh, we have the classroom, and we have 20 school desks. So what we're going to want to do is um, set up a program for foundation education. So we need 15 people to pass this, 15 prisoners. Only seven are interested. In order to do this, we're going to need to have a three-hour block of time uh, where they're actually working, which is here. So if we take up... Take out their lockout, lock up time, sorry, and replace that with work from 10 to 12. That's three hours. 10 to 11, 11 to, wait, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, yeah, that's fine. And maybe give them a little bit more free time here and a little bit less lock up time. Um, that should give them enough time to actually start this if I go to the program and hit start. Yeah, okay, so that's going to work. 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. There will be, like, a teacher that comes up here and will teach them. And then over the course of several days, people will start to pass this program. Okay. So it's going to take us a long time to finish this, but that's okay. What is our most pressing need? We did just finish, uh... Did we finish something? We finished prison labor. That's fine. What about extra grant? No, bank loan. We don't need tax relief. You will save 1,500 taxes per 10,000 of daily profit. I get it, but that's not going to help me out too much right now. I, it's not like I'm making enough money for that to be that applicable. We're still making like $1,000 a day. All of my money pretty much is coming from grants. So the next thing we'll do is probably try to expand a little bit. So I'm going to go to uh, our grants here, and there's like a cell block B. Ex expand prisoner capacity up to 50. It's going to take a little while. And uh, we're going to need to definitely expand our capacity as well. Like, we're going to need another shower room. And we're probably going to need another, uh, a bigger canteen. And we'll put it, we'll put like another canteen up here. And we'll design it with that in mind. You know, we'll make it bigger with that in mind. Uh, and remember, we need a hallway, like, out here because I'm an idiot. And didn't plan my prison properly. Oh, that's not what I meant to click on. With this much money, though, we can pretty much just open this up. So, um, this is going to be a wall. We want it to at least go like this, because we need a um, we need a hallway here. And let's just extend it up pretty high. You know, we we have money. Is three what we want here? I think three is what we want here. That gives us a hallway and a wall, and we can build off of it later. Sure. And then we'll extend this over here. This is going to be very expensive, but we have the money for it, so that's okay. And this is going to be... Like, half cell blocks, half relief of our prisoners' needs. Because nine prisoners have serious complaints right now. What is it, nine in the morning? They're probably hungry. Freedom. No, they need freedom. I wonder if there's anything we could do on our regime to make sure that that doesn't happen. What if we put free time... Because it seems like their food's not really an issue. What if we put free time uh, before... Like, after shower, but before mealtime? So that it goes like this. Let's see if that works out for us. And then we'll have to see starting tomorrow, but what do they get to? They get to like medium and increasing. A lot of people have a problem with it. Things also get pretty noisy in our canteen. Yeah, it's pretty clear that we're not going to be able to fit 50 people in here. I'm surprised that we're doing so well with 20, to be honest with you. 28 at least, but uh, cool. This is going relatively well. This is not how big our foundation has to be, by the way. I'm kind of a dummy. We should extend it down to here. It's going to take a little while for that to get built, but it's going to give us a lot of money-making potential in the future. And we're starting to fill up this map pretty darn quickly, so we might want to research, like, land um, acquisition. But for now, we're just going to start researching all of the things on our tech tree. Again, the game's still in alpha, so, you know, there's work to be done when it comes to getting more and more stuff. Uh, but we don't really need to concern ourselves with that right now. Honestly, I think we could probably blow this office out and then just make our canteen a little bigger here. And that might make things a little easier on the prison. We haven't had any riots or fires or anything yet. Uh, this is just going to be a wall back here. And we're going to make sure that this no longer is an office. Once it actually gets built, I'll designate the canteen stuff there. It's going to take forever to get built, but that's okay. We only have eight workmen, but we really don't need to hire any more. You know, it would be a lot easier for everybody to get their meals if you'd stop trying to smuggle in or smuggle out, I guess, knives and, and forks and stuff like that. Like, you're relatively low-hassle prisoners. Just, like, slow your roll and relax a little bit. And again, you can see, like, it, it takes us forever to do anything 
because we have um, you know prisoners that get st or workmen that get stuck at all these doors trying to do stuff, and then our truck comes in and it takes forever. So it's gonna take some time for this to get done, but that's okay. Might be a little inefficient, but that's pretty much the way I do things. So we're gonna throw down like another table here, another table here, and then a couple of benches just to alleviate some of the sp space concerns in this canteen. That wall's been bulldozed, so I can uh, probably just extend it. I'm not sure how it deals well with L-shaped rooms. S seems to... Mostly, the text is wrong, but that's okay, as long as this still counts as our psychologist's office, which I believe it does. Okay. And it's filled in. It took away one of our walls, which I'm not a huge fan of. At least it wasn't this wall with the cells on it, though. And that's a pretty huge expansion for our prison, so... We'll build, uh, we'll rebuild that wall. Which is a pretty important part of this. And how's our electricity? It's pretty good, we could maybe... This meter, when it gets up to the top, the power will go out, which is obviously bad for business. So we need, um... More capacitors maybe built around here. Which we should just do, because they're relatively cheap and it's better than our power going out. So let's go to utilities. Capacitor, and... Do that. And that should be enough to keep us going for quite a long time. And again, we'll do our standard utility stuff, uh, especially like getting our electrical cables in order. Before things become too problematic. Get this dragged along like so. It's not that expensive, considering it brings electricity to the whole prison. And we'll get that dragged along like so. And that should keep us mostly covered here. Hey, this canteen is actually shaping up pretty nicely here. It looks a little bit less, you know, gross. Which is good. Everything seems... Relatively clean. I don't think we need. Uh, maybe we could use another janitor, uh, which is here. You know, we do have, you know, one every janitor is looking after like 14 prisoners' mess. That's annoying, if nothing else. I feel for them. Please tell me you're going to install the walls here soon. Please tell me you're going to install the walls here soon. It is queued. Okay. All right. So what is it going to look like up here? Up here, I think we're going to have a second... We're going to have a bunch of cells, of course. But we're also going to have a, um, a bunch of showers. Well, like a, a big shower block. And another kitchen and another canteen. And we should probably work on our yard expansion as well. So actually, we can get that done super easily. Just by going like this. I mean, it's not a huge expansion. But... They'll appreciate it, I think. They're liking me so far. Look, our danger level's low. Mind you, it is because everyone's asleep. But that's okay. And remember, we're checking today to see if putting free time after the shower helps, uh, you know, keep down the, the risk of them revolting. I'm actually very pleased. I mean, I'm not the best when it comes to organizing things, but I'm very pleased with the way the prison's running so far. Nobody's getting out of control. And we've got normal uh, prisoners, which are, you know, sometimes... A little ornery. We have to be careful because sometimes they can like dig out tunnels under their uh, under their cells. Somebody should clean that up. Oh, is that just a light? I thought that was actually urine in the toilet. That's just a light in the background. Sometimes they can dig tunnels under their uh, under their toilets. I have had that happen before. But if they're relatively happy, I think they're just more or less content to kind of live out their uh, live out their sentence. All right, so we're well fitted up here. What do we need to do for our cell block B? We just need to raise prisoner capacity to 50, huh? So that doesn't seem that hard. Remember, we have our clone tool still set up. Can we rotate with the clone tool? I don't think we can. And we don't want to get it set up like this. Because, like, if we set it up the same way we set it up before, the doors are going to be facing the wrong direction. So I think we're actually going to just do one cell. So, like... We gotta go three up. It's gotta be two by three, so we actually go four up. And we're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna put down a toilet and a bed. And then this, this will be our new copy um, that we can clone for multiple cells. But we won't have anybody actually enter those cells until we're ready, until we have a new canteen, new showers and stuff like that, because otherwise people are gonna be pretty pissed about things. Um. Remote access. We, I mean, we can start to unlock stuff like CCTV, dogs. I don't. I've never really used them, so I'm a little bit intimidated. But you know, I don't like having armed guards. I read uh, like some tips online, and they said, "Hey, there's no point in really having armed guards if you're just gonna have um, 
like medium and low security prisoners because they make the prisoners really antsy and are more likely to cause a riot, which lucky, you know, we've been lucky enough to avoid so far. It's something really satisfying about just like building your your prison and watching it kind of go up here. I made a mistake and we should have a wall here. Just want to make sure that this like our mold is fine for when we copy it down for or copy it to to more and more people. So let's uh Demolish these walls. Make sure the prisoners can't escape through it because sometimes that can actually be a major issue. And we'll expand our yard and we'll we'll fill it out with more stuff as time goes on. There we go. Is it still yeah, I got that spot too. We'll fill it out with more stuff as time goes on here. For now it's it's fine. And this is pretty much how we want our cell to be. It doesn't copy the pipes anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we keep them, I think. And we'll just make sure that the uh the door is installed before we clone it. And then we're, I don't know, how long have we been recording here? Ten hours? <laughs> it feels like I've been playing for a long time. We did get uh, some stuff done here. That's okay. Let's just get our, well, at least get like one cell block cloned. And we're going to do both sides of it. And then, uh, then I'll probably end the episode there. So we're going to make sure that we clone this properly. We don't need the right wall. Sorry, we don't need the left wall. So we'll clone like this. And then put that down there. Does that look right? Seems relatively right. We'll see if it is right after it gets built. Look at me. I'm a freaking idiot. <laughs> the same problem we've always had, where it's less, it's like one block off. Oh no, it's not! No, 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 it's not off. We do have room for one more cell here. It can't quite be placed properly, I think. So I'm just going to place it manually, but we do have room for one more cell. That was actually done appropriately for once. Now, it is stupid that I got jail doors because it means that the um, the workmen are going to be super bad at actually installing pipes. So maybe I should prioritize that first. So let's get, like, one more large pipe that goes up like this. Might be able to allow people to tunnel out, which I'm not thrilled about, but that's okay. And we'll install small pipes like this, and maybe they'll bring the pipes up before they actually complete the cells, but we'll have to see. Also, why oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. We have to learn from our mistakes, though. This room wasn't designated as a cell. So now I'm going to have to redesignate every single one of them that comes up. Which is pretty dumb of me, all things considered, but that's okay. If you're wondering why they're building so slowly, um, part of it is they're really inefficient at moving around the prison due to the way I designed it. And the other part is that this deliveries area is like all backed up with a bunch of stuff. So we'll have to, we'll have to spend some time manually opening doors for people. Getting our guards to manually open doors for people. All sorts of really, really dumb stuff like that that I should have considered previously, but, uh, but did not. And again, we've got truck backups here because we've got so many deliveries coming in uh, and yet... You know, we're not we're not building with it fast enough. But our prison is running really effectively right now. It's nighttime. One prisoner has a complaint. Three say they're well treated. That's pretty good in my eyes. Let's get our cells built up here. Want them set up like this. Still many many brick walls to be built. Come on, dude. You can do it. Exit it through the other door. There's an open space there. All right, so we'll just let these idiots do what they do. And once this is built, we'll probably end this episode. But you can see our capacity is going way up. There's no reason we shouldn't let more prisoners in in the meantime, as long as we have the capacity necessary to deal with them. So we'll probably build, like, a shower room right here and then let in prisoners enough to fill in this kind of, like, new setup that we've got going on here. And then that's good because it means we'll have more bios to read for tomorrow, which is, for me, one of the highlights of the whole thing. But let's just make sure that everything's decked out appropriately here. We still have a few more pipes to install to ensure that there's actually water. Doesn't have a toilet yet. Oh, they have to be installed. That's okay. All right, this cell now is a cell. What are you trying to do? There's already a toilet in there, you jerk. There we go. We got a bed and a toilet there. And let you out. Okay, so we've got like a big open space here with not much to do with it, but that's okay. We can let in more prisoners. And I say we keep letting in normal. 11 prisoners arriving. That's exactly the right number. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. There's just something really satisfying about looking back at it. It's like building a microchip or something. Looking at it and you're like, you know what? This is a pretty well-oiled machine. It's getting the job done right now. 
If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Check out the game. Again, as mentioned, you can pick it up in the Humble Bundle. It's in like $10 or higher category. It's also available standalone on the developer's website as well as on Steam Early Access uh, for a bit of a premium compared to what it is in Humble right now, but it depends on when you're watching the episode, I suppose. Again, subscribe if you want to see more Prison Architect every single day, which I will be doing for the visible future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.